Hi, I'm Edith and I'm from Dr. Pamela Johnson's office and I would love to share with you my braces on instructions with you today. When your braces go on, it is very important that you stay away from any hard or crunchy or any sticky foods. For example, ice. You never ever want to bite on ice because um, it can pop a bracket and cause um, delay in your treatment. You never ever want to bite on pens or pencils because it can bend the wire and also delay your treatment. And if you like to eat apples or anything hard like celery or carrots, you want to make sure you cut it up into little pieces first um, before you actually bite into it. And whenever drinking anything with sugar such as pop or Gatorade, you want to make sure you brush immediately after. If you don't have a toothbrush handy, just rinse out with water and brush as soon as you get home. It is very important to keep your teeth nice and clean while you have your braces on. Um, right here are two examples of a person who did an excellent job brushing and another patient who did a really bad job brushing. The person who did an excellent job didn't have any white scars on their teeth when their braces came off. However, the person who did a really bad job brushing had white scars and these scars are caused from lack of brushing and not from the braces themselves. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how to brush with your braces. So here at Pamela Johnson's office, you'll get a toothbrush that looks like this and you also have a little proxy brush at the end of your toothbrush which will make it a lot easier for you to brush. So all you have to do is make sure you take your toothbrush and make sure the bristles are going in between the brackets from the top. You want to come from the bottom and then you want to brush directly on top of the brackets. And you want to make sure you do this for both the upper and lower arches. And you can always use your little proxy brush to get in between and clean by the brackets. And it's very important that you clean by these little hooks here. Plaque loves to build up behind these hooks, so it's very, very important that you brush this area very well. If you have an electric toothbrush at home, perfect. It does the work for you. All you have to make sure is that the bristles are going in between your wire and your bracket. Also, we do recommend that you floss every day, however, with braces it is time consuming, so if you can floss at least once a week, that'd be great. Um, we're going to give you a packet that looks like this, and in this little packet it contains these little blue floss threaders. And all you have to do is take a piece of floss, put it through the loop, and all you have to do is just hold one end of the floss and the other floss threader you're going to Put it in between the wire and just thread it on out, holding the other end of the floss. And you'll just continue to floss like you usually do. See motion up this way, see motion up that way. And you want to make sure you slide your floss out. You never want to pull it out because you can pop a bracket or disengage the wire. Also, we will be supplying you with some wax. Um, you, your tissue may be sore for a couple of days or it might cause some discomfort due to the braces. All you have to do is just take a little piece of wax, make sure the area is nice and dry, make sure the, the wax is nice and little or small and just place it in the area. If you take too much wax it will fall off so a little goes a long way and it will create a nice smooth surface and it will give your tissue time to heal. Another important part is, as soon as you're done brushing, we will be giving you these pink disclosing tablets. And what these do is, once you're done brushing, all you have to do is take one of these little tablets, put it in your mouth, chew it up, and swish it around, then spit it out. Any areas that you missed will turn pink. And in order for that pink to come off, you have to make sure you brush very well. And just remember those areas for next time, because if you miss them the first time, you'll definitely miss them again the second time. Also, you want to stay away from whitening toothpaste while you have your braces. You want to make sure you use non-whitening toothpaste. Uh, that way, if you use whitening toothpaste, it will only whiten the area around your teeth and not where the brackets are on. 
Also, here at Dr. Pamela Johnson's office, we offer this program that's called our STAR Patient Program. And if you see here, the number one key is excellent brushing. If you do a great job brushing, and we don't have to give you any pep talks on brushing, that's a plus for you. Um, no broken brackets. If you have an awesome appointment or attendance, you wear your headgear, or if you don't have headgear, you can replace the headgear with a herbs appliance or an expander. Just make sure you take very good care of them. And perfect rubber band wear. If you comply with all of these um, stars, star points, Dr. Johnson will give you $100 at the end of your treatment. So that's definitely something to look forward to. Um, and if you have any questions, you're more than welcome to give us a call, and we'll be more than happy to assist you. Have a great day. Good luck with your braces.